Potential risk of earthquake signal found in groundwater helium levels. This is a scientific finding from the University of Tokyo. Fizz.org, November 26, 2016. Japanese researchers revealed a relationship that exists between helium levels in groundwater and the amount of stress exerted on inner rock layers of the Earth that are found at locations near the epicenter of the 2016 Kumamoto earthquake. Scientists hope the finding will lead to the development of a monitoring system that catches stress changes that could foreshadow a big earthquake. Several studies, including some of the massive earthquake in Kobe, Japan, 1995, indicated that changes to the chemical makeup of groundwater may occur prior to earthquakes. But researchers still needed to accumulate evidence to link the occurrence of earthquakes to such chemical changes before establishing a strong correlation between the two. A team of researchers at the Tokyo University and their collaborators found that when stress exerted on the Earth's crust was high, the levels of a helium isotope, helium-4, released in the groundwater was also high at sites near the epicenter of the 2016 Kumamoto earthquake, which was a magnitude 7.3 earthquake in southwestern Japan, and it caused 50 fatalities and very serious damage. The team used a submersible pump it was put in deep wells to obtain groundwater samples at depths of 280 to 1,300 meters from the several locations in the fault zones surrounding the epicenter only 11 days after the earthquake in April 2016. They then compared the changes of helium-4 levels from chemical analysis of these samples with those from identical analysis that were performed 2010. Quote, after careful analysis and calculations, we, ca we concluded that the levels of helium-4 had increased in samples that were collected near the epicenter due to the gas released by the rock fractures. And quote. This is what the lead author, Yuji Sano, professor of University of Tokyo's Atmosphere Ocean Research Institute, says. And these are his images. Now, further, more, the scientists estimated that amount of helium released by the rocks through rock fracture experiments in the laboratory using rock samples that were collected from around the earthquake region. They also calculated the amount of strain exerted at the sites of groundwater sample collection using satellite data. Combined, the researchers found a positive correlation between helium amounts in groundwater and the stress exertion in which helium content was higher in areas near the epicenter while concentrations fell further away from the most intense seismic activity. And he said, more studies should be conducted to verify our correlation in other earthquake areas. This is what Sanyo says, and he adds, it's important to make on-site observations in studying earthquakes and other natural phenomena, as this approach provided us with invaluable insight in investigating the Kumamoto earthquake, he said. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.